You may have heard before that math is the universal language, but had suspicions that something didn't quite add up. Many mathematicians will say that math is a universal language, and many linguists will say that it isn't a language at all, let alone a universal one. Today, I'll be looking at both sides to hopefully clear up some of the causes for division. The question may seem as if there's only a yes or no answer attached, but it's much deeper than that would do justice for. The first question to ask is really, what's a language, and whether math fits into that definition? When we exclude computer languages, a definition for what's a language might look like the method of human communication, either spoken or written, consisting of words in a structured and conventional way. But this definition is pretty vague and doesn't allow for clear distinctions between languages or between those and dialects or include sign languages. I'll expand this to be a method of human communication, either spoken or signed, used to express any idea within a conventional, structured, arbitrary way. Some of the addenda included can be clarified in the What's a Word video which you should check out in the link description below. Math does communicate things arbitrarily, as even simple concepts and numbers are abstract themselves. Also, it does use conventional standards, and even order of operations could be thought of like a sort of syntax. This will be looked over in a second. However, math is extremely limited in what it can communicate. Even when blended with physics in calculus, all this communicates is math. Even invented languages of 120 words communicate more with those than one could with math. Just think how word problems can contain what math equations could, but the reverse is not true. Moreover, it isn't a system of communication in the same way, since two people cannot exchange a math-based conversation. What is the math for hello? In this way, math is a shorthand. Still, being a universal shorthand isn't bad, and in effect, this is at least true, but only insofar as it had to be learned like everything else. As Learner.org says, mathematics is only the language shared by all human beings regardless of culture, religion, or gender. Going on to say, Pi is still approximately 3.14159 regardless of what country you're in. At one point in European history, Latin was the language of academic work and was used in lectures and articles for every subject, from literature to math. At that time, academics, including even Isaac Newton, would have likely claimed Latin to be the universal language of academia because they could go anywhere and speak it to their academics. Today, this is not true because we don't all use Latin. Math is only a universal language because everyone has to learn math. If English were taught over the world, it becomes a universal language, which it has in many ways. And in that case, pi is the same regardless of what country you're in. In effect, math has not become a universal language because it is a, like a shorthand and is not intrinsically universal. The concepts are universally consistent, but so is any concept, whether it's math or not, when it's abstract enough. Thank you for watching, and please remember to like and share, as it really does help. You can also support this channel on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, and you'll get cool perks, like, including my own linguistic theories, as well as a podcast on alternative language history, such as one released just this week about how Latin could have easily become just a forgotten language. However, there is also a daily blog for consistent, free content on languages and linguistics. Links for everything are below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.